All right, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, man. <clears throat> you see it. All right. We in what? December the 5th. You know, this is the last month of this so-called year. And we headed into 2020. You know, got to uh, uh, think back what happened in the beginning of 2019. There was a government shutdown. You know, the more and more, you know, we getting into these years of the 2000s, as they call it, you know, we're getting closer and closer to an end of the old world. All right. Because Esau, starting with the elites, all right, the international bankers, the Rothschilds, all right, these banking families, the elite families, their agenda, okay, is to push a new world order, all right? And that's basically in a nutshell, you know, everyone receiving the microchip, which is inserted incision up under the skin, you know, all right, which the Bible calls the mark of the beast. So, you know, calamity, a lots of woes, you know, a lots of sedition, you know, uh, let me say unrest, not being eased is, you know, your liberty, you know, is uh, going to be taken away. And right now we're looking at the food. All right. So this is an article somebody sent me about an hour ago <clears throat> and um, I never saw this site before. RLS, never heard of it, but <clears throat> it's official. And as the title is, President Trump closes loophole and snap. 700,000 participants nationwide to lose benefits. All right. And this actually came out on the 4th. This was yesterday. So, you know, me just want to Google and see what it, you know, see if this is official. You know, <clears throat> you know, these came up, you know, top stories, which was 18 hours ago. And the top story is this. President Trump closes loophole and snap 700,000 participants nationwide to lose benefits. You see it from The Guardian, you know, NBC News, USA TV, all right, Rudis, you know, so it's official, man. You see how we already starting off, you know, to go into 2020, all right? So let me um, just touch on a little bit. It says uh, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, closed a loophole that allows states to make participants receiving minimum temporary assistance for needy families. TANF benefits automatically ineligi uh, ineligible to participate in USDA's Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP. <clears throat> Supplemental. All right. It says the rule published today in the Federal Register would limit SNAP and TANF automatic eligibility to householders, to households that receive a substantial ongoing TANF funded benefit aimed at helping families move towards self-sufficiency. So, you know, Trump basically want workers, you know, he's tired of Jake sitting on their ass and you know, receiving all this free money and free food, you know, he wants you to work, you know, go out there and make a living. And this is going to cause a whole lot of problems, man. You know, this is how we can see, man, hey, the watchers, you know, the Lord's prophets. We told you that what Jacob's trouble, you know, as the scriptures prophesies of Jacob's trouble, we're coming into, man. All right. People are going to be uneasy at this. You know, a lot of people <clears throat> that get taken, you know, get cut off from this this vintage, okay, this benefit, you know, it's going to be more aggressive, you know, I'll just say I, could, I can, you know, already see ahead that if this go down <clears throat> and people not being able to receive their little free money <clears throat> and benefits for food, you know, people that are really living, you know, because there's certain people that's not living too low, you know, that's receiving benefits, but there are a lot of folks that's living real low, man. It's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be aggressive spirit out here, man. More crimes, more murders, more more stealing, you know, more people just getting hurt 
because we at the end of Esau's kingdom, man. We at the end of this old way of you knowing, uh, you know, this this way of living as an American. All right. You know, things about to get rolled in. And uh, El Apostle Tahar, he coined this year the year of Karagma, you know, because surely we can see that, you know, what the end goal is, is to microchip you, man, because they go, they will be rolling in, all right, here in America, in more commercials, more uh, uh, sight, more seeing of it, more involved in your everyday living, you know, taking that chip, taking that mark, <clears throat> you know, and I must, you know, I, I speak of the chip because when things get chaotic and they take away your benefits, what's going to be the solution? All right. So, you know, here it is, man, about to go into 2020. All right. And it's already, you know, uh, uh, your benefits being taken away. So let me read the scripture. This is Isaiah chapter 32 and 10. You know, it was just like the beginning of this year, the government shutdown. All right. It says many days and years ye shall be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail and the gathering shall not come. All right. So your benefits is going to be taken away. All right. So let me see something. Crop. The grape crop vintage. Hmm. Cooked it. Let's see. Inaccessible. Right. Oh, so I get. All right, let me read that again. This is many. It says, "Many days and years ye, ye shall be troubled, ye careless women." And who is, uh, you know, the majority that's on welfare? These women, you know. So the Lord is talking to you, Israelite women, ye careless women. For the venture shall fail, the gathering shall not come. <clears throat> Tremble, ye women that are at ease and. You know, fulfilling Isaiah 4 and 1, hey, a lot of these women that all that pride, hey, you about to be humbled because you're going to need a man. You know, a man that actually works, go out there and bust his ass, you know, you're going to need a provider now because guess what? Your daddy Esau ain't going to feed you no more. You see, <laughs> I remember there was a video years back, brothers was posting on a tube, you know, where this black, you know, this black woman, I think she had like blonde hair. She was real dark chocolate. And she was like, you know, F my baby father. She said, thank you, daddy. Thank you. And she was talking about the government. She was saying because she was making her point that welfare feeds her. Welfare pays her bills. You know what I'm saying? So she was calling them daddy, man. You know, you need to play to put that video back up there, you know. <clears throat> but guess what? Esau, your daddy, he about to take away all of your goods, man. Where that's going to lead the black woman, where that's going to lead the Hispanic woman, you know, in the urban cities, in the ghettos, <clears throat> it's going to lead you to relying on a man. You know, so the scriptures say, tremble ye women that are at ease, be troubled, ye careless ones, strip you, make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins because you supposed to be in a state of mourning. You supposed to be in a state of seeking the Lord 10 times more. Seeking the Lord while he may be found, man. You know, you guys, well, just like it's like we always say, this truth is for the elect, you know. So the elect, you know, is going to get sealed. But the rest of Israel, the two thirds, you know, you're not looking forward of an end of America. You're not looking forward of Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ returning. You're not looking forward. You despise this truth. You despise the men that the Lord sent. So that means you despise the Lord himself and you despise the heavenly father, you know, but that's why the scriptures say for the elect tremble ye women that are at ease, be troubled ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. So, you know, another thing too, if they taken away, if Trump is going to take away, you know, food benefits, how much more your section eight, you know, this is all. Just like a domino effect, man. They take away one, they're going to take away what? Your Section 8, your housing, you know, all of the, they paying half your rent. I remember a year, I remember years ago, uh, it was a chick, uh, one of my homeboys, um, he knew a chick, he was telling me, he said her rent was like $7. You know, this woman, she had a, she had like a three, three bedroom, 
You know, she had a garage. You know what I'm saying? She had like basically remodeled crib. One of them nice jaunts. <laughs> one of them nice jaunts, you know? And um and um, you know how they said in the street and shit, you know. But she had one of them nice joints and she was only paying like seven, eight dollars a month. And it depend on if she worked or not. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the, these black women and these Hispanic women know how to rip the system, man. Each year getting taxes and shit. Here it is. You on welfare and anything. But then here it is. You know, you getting taxes and all that, man. <laughs> you know? Hey, they've been ripping the system for a minute, man. All right? You know? So, hey, it's coming to an end, man. All right? Anything that goes up must come down. You know? This wicked society is crumbling. See, Trump, he believes he's making America great again, but not realizing playing, he's they, they're playing into the hands of the of Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai. This is the end of his kingdom. All right. So let me continue here. It says, Tremble ye women. So you're supposed to be scared. If you are a woman that believes in the Lord, you should be praying to the Lord. You should be in good standard. You should be want to be a holy woman, you know? Honest, humble, man, delicate. <laughs> Tremble ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. And most of these women, they got different changeable apparels. You know, she in the morning time, she take her shower, she come out, she got her outfit. Then in the afternoon, she done switched the whole outfit up, makeup. You know, got different, got, got, got everything, man. And you know, women clothes are cheap. You know, women could put on, you know, they can go to the stores and get anything, man, and put it together and it look like something, you know? <clears throat> so it says, tremble ye women, all right, that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare, gird sackcloth upon your loins, meaning be in the morning state, you know, because you should be. Either way, you're going to be humble, man. They shall lamb it. Uh, you know, hey, that's the point. Then, yeah, that's the point. You know? Yeah. You know, so, hey, we at that time, man. We at that time. All right. So, from here, I want to go to my favorite chapter. All right. And I'm going to wrap this thing up. Uh, I ain't seen no brothers put videos on this yet. So hopefully this inspired brothers to get into it and put this, you know, out, the, out there for the hopeful elect, you know. Uh, this is second address and nine. All right. Let's see. This is my favorite chapter. All right. Uh, right. This is second address chapter nine and uh, verse nine. Then shall they be in pitiful case. Which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. See, right now, you know, our people, two thirds, okay, these women and men, you have cast away of the, the you have cast away the ways of the Lord. You know, the Lord has his men set up to teach you the way of salvation, but you cast his you cast it away, you know. When the Lord got his hand out, you know, you're not taking hold to, you know, you're shoving your shoulder away. So the Lord got something coming. It says, then shall they be in pitiful case. What's a pitiful case, man? You're not having food to eat. All right. You're not having a home to stay in. Okay. You vexed in the spirit, man. You know, you're not going to be at ease. The comfortability here is going to change, man. And it's going to just like that. You know, everything going to change, man. It says, then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. See, all of this, all of this shit here in America is, you know, it's distractions, man. You know, you want to go to school trying to become somebody here in America. It's a distraction. All right. You know, you want to be a rapper is a distraction. You know, you got to go to the clubs and go get dressed up every week is a distraction. You worried about what this person thinks is a distraction. You know, 
everything here is a distraction. I was telling someone the other day, you know, here in Babylon, man, you know, it's demons everywhere. Anyone that was raised outside of this country, raised outside of the, this Babylonian land, you know, have a little more value to themselves until they step foot and live in Babylon and more of the demons attacking them, man. You have more, way more value if you're not from this country, man. But if you're from this country, man, you are. You know why? Because you are. You are exposed to everything here. This is why this place is so wicked. Because you get exposed to everything. You're not supposed to be exposed to everything. And that's why these women, our women, are wicked. You know, first off, our women are super wicked because us men, all right, of the Israel, have went off for the Lord. You know, first and foremost. So the most high made enmity between a man and a woman. All right. But then again, you know, this land uh, promotes, you know, all witchcraft, man. Demons, you know, and a woman being exposed to everything is not good. Some things you're not supposed to see. But here in Babylon, which is known as North America. All right. You expose everything. So now. You got demons going through you, man. Everywhere you turn, man. A woman, you know, she, she she got a husband at home, but she's getting hit on by 500 men every day. You know, she on social media, got men hitting on her. <laughs> she go walk to the store, got men hitting on her. You know, you got, your, got a cell phone. A cell phone is your biggest sin. You know, cell phones, that's where you commit your, your, your sin, your majority of your sins, man. You watching and looking at shit you ain't supposed to, you know, and they go the same for men. I'm not making this about all women, but as the, as the, you know, season we in. All right. And that's what's happening. According to this, this uh, article was Trump about to do. He about to take away your benefits, man. All right. So let me get back. It says, and they that have lofted my law while they had yet liberty. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. Understood not, but despised it. Right. So, let, so like I was interrupted. Let me read again. And they that have lofted my law while they had yet liberty. And when as place, when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it because they despised this truth. And this is truly the time when repentance is open. You know, the men of the Lord are still teaching. You know, is this video still being put up on the unicorn, the Internet of Things. All right. It says the same must know it after death by pain. And therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, who the world is and for whom the world is created. So the world was created for the righteous. And who is the righteous? Jacob. All right. Starting with the elect of Jacob. All right. So, you know, I ain't going to. Keep going on. I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, I kind of went longer than I expected, but I hope you were edified. You know, this is uh, breaking news. All right. Maybe I'll title it breaking news. All right. President Trump closes loophole in SNAP. 700,000 participants nationwide to lose benefits. All right. Because he wants, you know, you to work. All right. No more free snacks. As Apostle Tahar said, you know, no more sugary Foster Flakes. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so they're going to lose their mind, man. Jake, hey, these, these, these foods, these cheap-ass foods you're eating is drugs, man. And if you can't eat, if you can't get your drug, you know what happens to crackheads when they can't get their crack. They start to wow out. So when you can't get your, 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 your crack food, you know, all that bootleg shit and all them chemicals in them foods, you are going to wow out, you know? So, hey, all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. May his will be done, you know, bringing forth the kingdom. You know, Paul says salvation is nearer than when we believe. So I hope you guys were edified. This is breaking news. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekha Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.